was a freedom fighter. And he was imprisoned by the colonialists for nine years. Uh, uh, kept under very inhuman conditions. Jaramogi, on the other hand, became a freedom fighter and fought for the release of Kenyatta. And when Kenyatta was released, Kenyatta then became the president, Jaramogi became the vice president. So they earned those positions by virtue of the fact that they sacrificed for the freedom of this country. So it was not like entitlement. The, the Kenyan people voluntarily elected them to those positions uh, at that time. They disagreed in the course of uh, implementation of uh, policies uh, during independence. And Jaramogi resigned from the government and went into opposition. The rest is history. Jaramogi became a leader of the opposition uh, and, 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 and until he died. I, on my side, I was involved in the, what we call the second liberation, not by invitation from my father, but basically out of conviction. And therefore, I was not in politics because my father introduced me to politics. I came into politics alone, and I've been in politics because of what I think is right for this country. As you know, I've also been in political detention uh, for a long time. You saw me walk away from that place because of that light interferes with me and you see my eyes sometimes watering because of damages I suffered when I was in the uh, detention and the poor lighting uh, in detention. That is what damaged my, my eyes. Now, I have continued on this because I represent the force for change in the country. Uru Kenyatta then was introduced to politics by the former president, Daniel Arap Moy, who then picked him as his preferred heir when he was uh, quitting politics. So Uru came in by invitation uh, from his mentor, uh, former president Daniel Arap Moy. But he then remained now an actor on his own when Moi left the stage. So he's also not here because his father brought him into the stage. He's a Kenyan, like any other Kenyan. So I think, I think it would be very unfair to infer that we have held this country hostage as families. I think you've answered the question, and I will also be asking you about your relationship with Uhuru Kenyatta in a moment. But I think there's an audience question that we had skipped 